Next Saturday could be a potentially violent day in Venezuela. Supporters of President Nicolas Maduro are set to hit the streets as anti-government protesters continue to defy orders to stop their demonstrations. CCTV's Martin Markovitz joins us live in Caracas with the very latest. And Martin, how's the situation there? Were there any more protests today? Well, yeah, well, despite Maduro's ban on protests, there's protests throughout the country all day. Um, opposition students basically have organized in some of the squares in the city and have closed roads and have actually even gone on highways and stopped traffic. Uh, late last night, they went to uh, the state television channel headquarters, who they say have been reporting bias against them. And they started throwing Molotov cocktails, burning tires. Uh, the government denounced these actions. Also today, some of the student protesters went to the Organization of American States office asking for the international body to send a representative here to intervene on their behalf, uh, the, uh, the part of the OAS that's the Human Rights Court. Since Venezuela is not part of the Human Rights Court anymore, that's probably not going to happen. Uh, Maduro has, has continued to have a, uh, saying that he's going to have a crackdown on opposition leaders. Uh, he has accused Leopoldo Lopez, who uh, many say started the, was in charge of the rally the other day and with the intention to do a coup. And nobody knows. There's a arrest warrant on Leopoldo Lopez. He's an opposition politician, but nobody knows where he is. You know, you're talking about a potential crackdown. What's been the government's response so far? Has it been measured or have they moved in? It's, it's been kind of in the middle. Um, the government has, the security forces have not been completely over aggressive. Yes, uh, there has been protesters that have been throwing stuff, burning tires, but for the most part, and there has been some tear gas that, that uh, the security forces have unleashed on the protesters, but so far it has not gone too, too crazy. Um, Maduro is going to have a bit, uh, supposedly a big march tomorrow uh, in support of his government. And there is worry that there will be another, that protests, that there will be more protests as a result of this. Uh, the opposition says that students say that they will have some protests uh, scheduled for tomorrow. So there might be some bloodshed. Also, uh, Twitter said that some of, some of the, the accounts in Venezuela have been blocked, which uh, has been very worrisome to the opposition because they say that the only way to get their media has been through Twitter. Um, at the same time, uh, throughout the city of Caracas, when the opposition protesters have congregated, um, armed groups loyal to Maduro have come by on occasion, uh, sometimes waving their guns, honking their horns. Um, these are the groups, they're called the colectivos. Uh, they come from the barrios of Caracas. And there is some worry that there will actually be more violence, that, they, that there could be some violence between these groups and the opposition student uh, protesters. Martin Markovitz, live for us in Caracas, where he's keeping an eye on the tensions there in Venezuela.